Hey y'all, my name is Shanice and I'm here with my first video on YouTube. Yes, this is my first video and I wanted it to be my first video because women are so uneducated and unknowledgeable about the hair industry and the hair extension industry and you know, they're spending all this money on hair that's crap and they don't know why and you know, they're just losing faith in the hair extension industry and thinking, you know, they can't get their hands on really good quality hair. So I'm here to spill the tea to tell you what's up and educate you guys on what is what. So I'm happy to be here to be giving out this information because I feel like as women, we or men, whatever, you work hard for your coin. And especially when you want to spend your money, buy some good hair and you spend all this money on it and you get crap, it breaks your heart. It's like, oh my God, like I spent $400 on these bundles and in three months they tangling, like they tangling, they not good, they met it up. I uh -uh, and all that stuff so that's pretty much what i'm here to educate to tell you guys about so pretty much um my topic today is raw hair versus virgin hair i know the virgin we're all used to the term virgin hair virgin hair is supposed to be 100 percent human hair raw hair a lot of people don't know what raw hair is so pretty much raw hair is when hair is cut you have your donor is a woman usually you know a woman from Vietnam, India, Cambodia, Southeast Asian countries. That's usually where they are. So you have the donor and they cut the donor's hair off and they sew it on the weft. Sometimes they wash and condition it, sometimes they don't. It's up to the, the manufacturer and the suppliers to do that. But usually that's it. That is the end of the process of their hair. So that's raw hair pretty much. Raw hair comes in usually natural, straight, which usually their straight has still has like a slight wave in it. Nobody here usually grows bone straight. Um, they have a natural wave that's usually like three to four S's in the curl, and that's usually it. And I think that's pretty much that's pretty much the only two patterns that come in raw hair. Um, they do offer curly, but the raw natural curly hair is hard to combine. It's super expensive, and yeah, that's pretty much that with the raw hair for virgin hair. Virgin hair, that term is used so, what's the word I'm looking for? It's just used so lightly and it shouldn't be because, yeah, granted it is 100% human hair, but 100% human virgin means somebody that has not been touched in a sexual way. So if you think about it, virgin hair should be hair that has not been, uh, been touched. It should be pretty much like the raw hair cut, sewn on the weft, or you could sell it in bulk and wash or unwashed and that should be it but unfortunately with virgin hair virgin hair is usually supplied by chinese vendors in china they go to india and they collect balls of hair um floor hair from the indian temples or whatever temple they get it from and they take they take that hair super cheap and they bring it back to their menu bring it back to their factory and they process the hair out with chemicals so pretty much silicones perms steam or you know stuff like that so that's why sometimes when you get your hair it has that strong odor and it smells like like weird it's because your hair has been processed with all types of chemicals to get it to look the way it look so that's why when you get uh virgin hair you can get um you know silky straight hair you can get spiral curls you can get s curl body wave um tahitian wave all types of ways you could get because they process the hair. They put it on a rod, they steam it, perm it, whatever chemicals they use to process the hair to achieve those patterns. So the term virgin hair is used real lightly and it shouldn't be. And this is why um, I would like to educate you guys on that. Because like I said, you know what the word virgin means. So it should be applied to your hair. So yeah, this hair is raw hair. You see, this is raw hair. It's not in no particular, this is the raw natural wavy. It's not in no particular pattern. It's just wavy hair, you know. On the other hand, this is virgin hair. Can you see the difference? No, if you think about it, no human person in the world hair grows like this. If I know a chick that grew like this, I don't want her to be my girlfriend because I'm be playing in this hair all day like, sis, I'm about to get these bundles. I'm about to cut the tail, make these bundles out of it because your hair is beautiful. 
no human person here grows in such a, a uniform pattern. This is processed here. If something has been done to create this pattern. On the other hand, this raw hair, this is how usually women in Indonesia hair grows. It grows with that slight wave in it. So pretty much that's uh, what I was saying about the uh, raw and the virgin hair. So just to prove to you guys, raw hair, no two bundles look alike ever. Like they might be similar, but they don't look alike. Look at these two. These are the same exact length, 20 inch Indonesian natural wave. This one is more wavier than this one. Do you see the difference? Do you see the difference? Let's flip it over. You see the difference? They are different and you will never get the no two will ever look alike. Take note. Okay, so now I'm going to show you the process, the virgin hair. These two bundles look exactly alike. Exactly alike. Because they were processed to look exactly like this. No one in the world hair grows like this. Excuse me. So yeah, so that's, I wanted you guys to see that so you guys can get a comparison of, you know, what raw hair and what um, virgin hair look like. So another, like a few things um, about raw hair versus virgin hair, usually with raw hair, um, the cuticles are intact is usually, you know, the, you can feel the cuticles in the hair, the cuticles are all aligned, they're in one direction, so you minimize tangling and matting and all that stuff so that's why raw hair is like the better option and also with the raw hair um sometimes i've heard people saying they got um like not bad batches but different like texture like different quality of raw hair it's because you know it depends on the person who hair was diet if they was taking care of it if they you know process it themselves during their lifespan and all that stuff so i've heard that but you know usually the women there they don't really can't really afford to do that stuff so they don't do that stuff okay so on the other hand the virgin hair like i said i don't know if i said that earlier but like i said earlier i think um the hair comes from multiple donors and the cuticles are not necessarily aligned. So when you have cuticles in the hair, if you have cuticles going in this direction and one going down, when they rub against each other, that's what caused matting and tangling because of the friction between the two hair strands. So with don with your hair coming from multiple donors, you don't know like you know what is what and they throw that into a weft to make a weft look full and they call it you know 100 percent human hair which it is but it's not virgin hair though so and that's where all the like the marketing the marketing thing goes the 7a 8a 10a hair they got mink hair which by the way if you guys didn't even know mink is an animal like mink coats and all that stuff nobody's gonna wear a coat full of human hair you know what i'm saying you gotta like think about that stuff and so they're like this whole mink hair thing. I want mink hair. Mink, it's an animal. Why would you want hair that's mink? That's just to show you. But they're marketing as human hair. But that's just to show you that it's just a marketing tactic because mink's an animal. Mink eyelashes, yes. That hair, that eye, the hair that's made with mink eyelashes, that is from the Siberian mink animal. It looks like a like a black jaguar or something like that. When that hair shades, they usually take that to make the eyelashes which is correct. They're not, the mink don't grow 24 inch bundles. You know what I'm saying? They don't grow 30 inch bundles. That's just straight marketing and like stuff like that. It's just, you know, marketing. Like I said, it is to get you in the door to buy the hair and all that blase, good stuff, blase, blah. So, um, usually with raw hair, raw hair is long lasting. I've been told that raw hair has been able to last five and plus five years and better. Like, if you know you just leave it in its natural state and you know you, when you style it, you use heat protecting, you know, you do what you got to do to protect the hair strands to make it last as long as possible. So, I've been hearing that. Excuse me, y'all. I feel like I'm getting sick. Um, virgin hair. I've heard virgin hair last. I, 
I've had virgin hair last, I'm hearing people last two months. They done spent two, three hundred dollars on some hair for it to last two months. Nah, bruh, it's not supposed to be like that at all. I mean, it just doesn't make sense to me. Um, because the hair is like so processed, there's no cuticles, there's no life left, there's no strength left. So by the time you get the hair, you wash it, process, you color it, you curl it, you do all this stuff to it. It's nothing left in the hair, so the hair has nothing to do but be dry, damaged, um, you know, just done. And you done spent two, three hundred dollars on this hair, and it really ain't what it ought to be, you know. So I feel like if you buy any hair extensions, any, 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 it should last you no less than one year. All I've had some crappy hair before, like I've. I'm 24. I've been wearing hair since I was 14. Since I hit high school, I've been wearing. So I've been wearing the. I don't know if y'all remember the princess hair from the hair store. The you get 24 inches for nine dollars a pack. I was wearing that. I was wearing Indy Remy. I was wearing uh, what's the other stuff? Y'all know when uh, y'all know all that synthetic, the 100% human velvet Remy, Indy Remy. I was wearing all Duvessa hair, all that stuff. Got my first set of bundles. AliExpress bundles, I ran through mad of them companies. Company up the company up hundreds of dollars, hundred thousand. I swear I spent thousands of dollars on hair because I was getting hair and the hair was so like boo boo like and I just can't do it no more. So I had to find another option. So I've educated myself, I put in the time. I've been wearing hair extensions for ten years now. Ten years. Ten years. So I kinda know the ins and out of this and i've done like in this past two years i've been doing extensive research on hair extensions and hair itself by the way i'm fixing to go to cosmetology school next year so i will be getting more information i guess the more in-depth on the cover information but from what i could find at the library and find online i've been doing that research to put this information out to you guys so yeah so that's uh pretty much it for this video i feel like i touched on all the subjects that i need to touch on when it comes to raw hair versus virgin hair please comment below if you guys have any questions have any comments any concerns have want me to put on another video with any other hit points is i'm more than glad to do it because i'm tired of hearing my women spending their coin on boo-boo hair on hair that's trash on hair that's not serving a purpose on hair that's not lasting them I'm tired of it and I'm going to put you guys on to what you're buying, spending your hard-earned money buying. I don't care if somebody bought it for you. I don't care if you worked hard for it. I don't care if you stripped for it. I don't care what you did for it. At the end of the day, you did that for that and you giving these companies your money and they're giving you trash. So anyways, if you're wondering what I am wearing, if you can't tell from my shirt, I am wearing three, two bundles of 24 inch, 20 inch and a 16 inch closure indonesian natural wave remember that hair i just showed you that's that hair silk pressed to the gods so this five by five 16 inch closure this is what it looks like it's like super long on me and bought from indie raw hair up and coming raw hair company located in indianapolis indiana and we launch on october 1st i see you then like comment and subscribe and i see you guys later